Well, we're off for a walk. Uh, we've cruised as far as we can down the Montgomery Canal. Uh, we came from Ellesmere down to Gronwyn. How does it you go? Like that? Gronwyn. Gronwyn. <laughs> Gronwyn. Right on the border with Wales here. And uh, from the junction at Frankton, uh, it's only seven miles of navigable canal, and then the rest. I think there's about a two or three mile stretch that you can't do, and then there is another long stretch of uh, actual navigable canal to Welsh Pool. They're supposed to be restoring it, but it looks like nothing has been done for about eight years, I think. I now. don't know, yeah. I think work might be ongoing. We're going to have a look and see if we can see anything. But um, it's been such a long time, hasn't it, this canal in, the rest in being yeah, restored? It has. I think uh, the fact that it's a special site of scientific interest makes for a bit of political uh, wranglings. But uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's we're actually going to have to extend our stay, aren't we, I think, because we should... Um, I think we've booked our passage back off tomorrow. of here tomorrow. Yeah. We'll, but we're not going to do it because we want to do some walking. So we're going about three and a half miles, I think, today to yeah, Pant. to Pant. So it's a seven-mile round trip. So it's going to test the legs. But um, we've really enjoyed it, haven't we? It's yeah. been so quiet compared to the Van Gogh <laughs> Canal. We've had we've we've been here. What day is it today? It's Monday. We've been here since Thursday. Thursday, and uh, we've had four boats move past the past us, haven't we? In There's all only that about time. six boats down here, isn't there? On this arm um, yeah, oh, at the end, we're getting to know the other people that are cruising down here. The only thing about it is that it's very limited to get any food or anything like yeah. that. A lovely pub down here. It really was a nice pub. Um, but there's a shop where we're walking today so we can get a few bits to last us a few more days, can't we? We can indeed, uh, like chocolate. Yeah, because I can't forage chocolate, can <laughs> I? <laughs> we've had a lovely couple of nights in the same spot, just about a mile outside of Ellesmere. And uh, time to move on. We've got uh, our passage down the Frankton Locks booked. So uh, it's now about 10 o'clock. We'll get there by about 11. And uh, the locks close at 12. So then we'll be on the Montgomery Canal, which used to go all the way to Welsh Pool, I think. Or Newtown, one or the other. <laughs> anyway big section of it in the middle is uh, unnavigable and has been restored and it's a real pity because it would have been a lovely thing to do drive down there come here you two stay come here come here cyclists approaching stay 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 oh yeah stay stay come on Yeah, so true to form, we're just uh, pootling along. I'm uh, walking a couple of miles to the locks, giving the dogs a bit of exercise. And herself is uh, driving the boat. The Langothlin Canal is a branch of the Shropshire Union Canal and the Shropshire Union Canal Society do some great things along here. They've put picnic benches in, barbecue stands for your disposable barbecues and also dotted along at regular intervals a mooring rings out the way arch like this. So it saves the effort of getting your chains out and uh, putting chains in the armco there in those gaps. And it's really nice, it's quick and easy once you jump off the boat, you just tie up and uh, it's lovely. And who wouldn't with a view like that?
So in her attempts to get out the way, Franz got stuck on the bottom at the back and the, uh, just stay there. the old work boat's just going stay to there pull her off in reverse. There's another one behind us. All fun and games. Just turned onto the Montgomery Arm and in the first of the staircase locks. As you can say, Rich is having a nice little chat with the locky here. Um, when I first pulled into the lock, the locky came up to me and said, Oh, have you got internet coverage? And um, I said, Well, yeah. He said, Oh, he said, You need to have a look because on Amazon you can get a Maverick drone, blah, 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 how much it costs. I think he might have been pro primed. <laughs> Rich is after a new toy. So when we come back up here, we might have longer footage of these locks, but it's really beautiful. We've had a really lovely sunny cruise up past about eight beautiful um, old boats, proper engines. Or, um, got stuck under a bridge or before a bridge. But a really beautiful stretch of canal, really, really lovely. And uh, really looking forward now to the Monty. And just press. It's always a bit scary when you go through these staircase locks because it looks like you're sailing off into nowhere or cruising off into nowhere. Looks like you're going to go over the lip at the end. So that's us through the first two locks, the staircase locks. And um, the locky is now padlocking the gates because they're only open until 12 o'clock every day with the last boat through. Um, that's all going to be chained up so no one else can come through. And we have two more locks ahead, which we left, have to leave the gates open on now, all the way down. Um, and then we come more up and have some lunch. Queen's Head. So um, 
hopefully they're open. I think we've got about another half an hour or so to go and uh, we're going to stop for a beer and that'll be us for the day then. Done. Done. It's a wrap. This is this is everything we want in canal life, this just slow cruising, wildlife all around us and boy have we noticed the butterflies these last couple of days haven't we? Yeah. And I don't know if it's because of lockdown that the canals, banks etc haven't been strewn down by uh, grass cutters but it, it, it just seems that the wildlife and the flowers is just more than ever we've noticed before. Am I, am I waxing lyrical? Am I being too romantic about it? Am I right? Yeah, you are right. And I was walking yesterday and taking photographs, snapshots just on my phone of bees and pollinating insects. And somebody local wanted to know what I was looking at. And they agreed that this year in particular, because the towpaths weren't strimmed until really late on, the wildlife has been fantastic. And they've seen flowers that they've never seen before along here. Um, so yeah, there's still plenty of places to stop and more. It's not that overgrown that it's a problem. It's fine, but it's just gorgeous. And this canal as well seems to have a lot of growth on the other side of the path, doesn't it? So it's just lovely. So far, so good. But the trouble is there are quite a few long, straight stretches on this canal. And uh, they're usually pretty, pretty boring, aren't they? So we'll see. <laughs> Plenty to look at. Just though. look at the hills. Yes. Fine. So we stopped off and had a lovely lunch at the Queen's Head. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it, Fran? It was really lovely. The food was superb. The service was superb. They're really well organised with all the COVID regulations. We felt perfectly safe. And we were pleasantly surprised. It was a really nice pub and our first meal out for us to since school oh, this, this year. year yeah. <laughs> So it was lovely, the beer was good, we had a beer or two. But we're surrounded by concrete and roads, just going under the busy A5 road. And uh, it's not us, we don't want to do that. So we're moving on, I've had a walk down the canal. And uh, hopefully we can fit in uh, just after the next lock. It's very narrow, this canal. It is. So, um, it is narrow, sure and it's we'll almost right. like river at some point, isn't it? It's yeah. so narrow. As you said, we've only passed one boat. Two boats, one boat today. Two moving boats today, um, we've passed in three miles. It's not easy to pass particularly, but yeah, we'll find somewhere a bit cooler. Yeah, it's already tomorrow. cooler. You get away from that concrete, it's already cooler. Yeah. Right in the sticks. Here we go. Funny because you're just sometimes more up places and it just doesn't feel right, does it? Doesn't. Or we could feel, I don't know about you, but I could feel the stress level going up because we couldn't get off the boat easy, it was all enclosed and I don't know. Noise. I don't know. Yeah. Having had such a peaceful cruise today, it was a shame just to put up put up the stuff in there when there's probably somewhere beautiful just around the corner. There is. Let's so. hope it's wide enough for a boat to pass us when we moor up. Oh. <laughs> We're already for 200 yards past the roads and you wouldn't know it. Well we travelled through the lock, moored down here, it's quite narrow but it's cool, it's greener, it's quiet and it's a proper mooring spot, it's gorgeous. beggar's belief. I just don't understand why the Canal and River Trust employ contractors to come and cut the grass either side of the towpath. How many species of flowers have been cut back? How many frogs have been slaughtered in the undergrowth? How many insects have been dispersed? Oh. Anyway, rant over.
So the towpath is closed now here for a, I think it's about a mile or so. So we've got to come off and uh, do some road walking. Well, we've uh, encountered a bit of rain. <laughs> Who didn't bring our jackets then? We always forget something. Usually it's the coffee or the water. We've brought coffee, water, everything, no raincoats. <laughs> We're persevering, it's fine. This wasn't forecast though, was it? So we made our way back to the canal. This is it behind. And uh, talking to the guys at the previous bridge who were working for the CRT, they're repairing leaks in the restored section. <laughs> so it's going to be a long, long time before this canal is fully open. As you can see behind, it's blocked off at the end. And uh, if you cross the road here and look the other side, that's what it looks like on the other side. So lots and lots of work to be done before any boat's going to come through here. It's a shame because there's obviously a winding hole here which is would have been the end of the navigable bit so you could have turned and gone back but there's also a problem with the height level somebody's done their sums wrong <laughs> and so when they filled the canal the water was pouring over the edges of part of it because the levels are not the same so the guys were a bit frustrated because they're doing you know a good job but they're only doing what they're told to do and all the numbers don't match up <laughs> So yeah, it's uh, such a shame because there's more money now being spent on repairing repairs. So let's get back on the cut. Right, you two, wait. Yeah, I feel a weaving coming on. <laughs> it's deep though, isn't it? All the same. Yeah. It's going to be even deeper. Where did the canal go, Arch? She says, where's the water gone? Because <laughs> I need to drink. Where's the water gone, Arch? Well, we made it to the village of Pant. I know, Pant. And uh, that's why I'm panting as well. And there's this lovely ceramic relief depicting the village and uh, it was made to mark the centenary of the end of the First World War. That's really clever. That's where we are there, look. Jess, where are we? Where are we, Jess? Clever girl. 